Wow, that turned out a lot better than I was thinking it would. Hey guys, I am back with another video. And on today's video, we have some really exciting things that we're doing today. I'm gonna be making some brand new bath bombs using a totally different type of mold. Also using some new bath bomb ingredients. I showed you guys what I bought previously from Fizz Fairy in a previous Vlogmas video. So I'll show you how I use that today. And it'll be the very first time that I'm using that. So hopefully everything is gonna go okay. <laughs> And that's pretty much what we're going to be focusing on today because it's so new and and I think it'll be useful to you guys to see my first hand reaction on using these molds and products. Whether or not it works out, this is how it is. This is reality. <laughs> I am using the new setup here right now and I watched what I had previously recorded on my previous video and oh my god, it was so bad. <laughs> it was just absolutely so grainy and unusable and I really felt really sad because I spent so much money on this new setup and it just wasn't working out. So I was really thankful to sit down and watch a video on how to set up this camera for, for recording and everything seems to have worked out fine. I'm no longer grainy and the picture looks great and I'm really hoping that the audio is doing good too because I filmed an intro and everything before I realized the audio wasn't picking up. This is such a huge learning curve for me. I really hope I have it figured out now. <laughs> and if you're new here and just stumbled on this channel, my name is Jerrica. I am the owner and creator of Quench, which is a soap and bath bomb company. If that is something that you're into, maybe you're thinking about starting a soap and bath bomb business yourself. This is the channel for you because I talk all about how I make my products, how I sell my products, all of the behind the scenes magic that I have to do in order to make this business run. <laughs> and if that's something you're into, please subscribe. For all of you guys who have already subscribed, Thank you guys so, so, so much. I woke up this morning to over 5,000 subscribers. I can't even believe that. I never thought that I would grow to 5,000 this quickly. So clearly there is a lot of you guys who are looking for this type of content. And I'm really, really happy to see that you guys are enjoying my videos. You guys have been commenting creating this amazing community of fellow soap and bath bomb business owners, and I cannot be happier with that. I am so excited about what 2021 has to offer. Really, really cool stuff coming. Can't wait for you guys to see that. And now without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm here in my kitchen and today is super exciting because I mentioned I'm going to be making a brand new product that we're gonna be launching in 2021. And I'm going to be using a new bath bomb mold for this. I get my bath bomb molds from the Bath Bomb Press Company in Alberta. And I got this mold actually last summer. Some other soap maker was destashing and I decided to buy it and I never used it until this moment. So this is gonna be really exciting showing you guys my first hand reaction on how to use this. And this is interesting because I use the three piece round bath bomb mold and this has four, oh, this is four pieces. <laughs> so it'll be interesting figuring that out. New exciting stuff coming in 2021. <laughs> I will also be using those bio glitters that I bought recently, so that'll be cool. A lot of firsts happening today, which is super exciting. <laughs> so here's a new thing. Um, I usually, when I make my bath bombs, I use my really big rounded bath bomb tray that I also bought from the bath bomb press, but I realized because these bath bombs are gonna be flat at the bottom, I can't use those. So I'm gonna dry them on these cafeteria trays that I got from, where did I get these from? I think I got them from a garage sale, but these will do. And now I'm thinking, I don't want the bath bombs to stick. So I'll probably put parchment paper down underneath so that they can dry on there without sticking. We'll see, we're all figuring this out together. <laughs> so today's bath bombs will be scented in champagne. My product vision is to have a set of three bath bombs. They will all be shaped as a heart and the scents will be drink themed. We are gonna be toasting to a brand new year in 2021. Each bath bomb will have its own little new year theme. Today's bath bomb, we're gonna be making the champagne ones. I think this is such a great idea because I think we're all a little tired of 2020 and we're excited about saying goodbye to it. <laughs> so I was thinking a product that welcomed in the new year and say goodbye to 2020 would be very well received. So I'm really hoping that this works out because that's the only product launch I have planned in January. <laughs> so for today's bath bombs, it is going to be scented in champagne, like I mentioned. I'm using champagne kisses from Winnie Point, and I'm also going to be mixing it with 
Love Spell, also from Wendy Point. And the reason why I'm doing that is because straight up champagne might not be the most pleasant smell. And even though this fragrance oil has a bit of citrus to it, I want to sweeten it up just a little bit using Love Spell, just so we have that fun and fruity aspect to the bath bomb that I try to achieve in my scent blends. And the colors I'm going to be using today are, I'm gonna be using orange and a blend of Real Deal Red and Hot Pink Dye. And then something special I'm gonna be using are Piss Fairies Bio Glitters. And hopefully this turns out, I have never used them before, so really hoping that this is going to turn out the way I envision it. Look how gorgeous these are. And I'll show you how I incorporate these into the bath bomb in a second. So the humidifier is reading 38 right now, which is a little on the low end. I'd like it to be above 40% for my humidity. So in this case, I definitely want my humidifier on and I have it set at around 45%. So it's able to stay within that range. As always, I'm gonna start by filling in this small candy dish with a little bit of water, and I'm gonna use that to disperse my orange dye. And I'm gonna turn it into a bit of a paste, and then I'm gonna activate the dye with hot water afterwards, and I'll show you how I do that. So in here is just a few grams of water. When you order from Fizz Fairy, she sends these measuring spoons. For my bath bomb batch, I like to use a full scoop of this. From the orange, I'm going to fill it up to the top and I'm gonna put it right into my candy dish of water and I'm going to mix that until it turns into a paste. People ask me where I get my metal skewer chopstick tool from. I got it from a Asian grocery store and I found so many uses for these guys. It's incredible. I'm a big fan of these. <laughs> So I'm gonna mix this until all of that dye, all that powder has been dispersed. So now that that's mostly mixed, I'm going to add a few drops of very hot water to activate this dye to get a really vibrant orange in my bath bomb mix. As you can see here, I've added the hot water and I'm gonna continue mixing until that's completely mixed. People have been asking me what my technique is for coloring my bath bombs and generally I go by this rule. I always add this much water to the beginning of my baking soda before I add anything else. I find doing this makes the bath bombs really really smooth and nice. If the bath bomb is gonna end up being two very different colors like my watermelon bath bombs. I just do this without any color. I just add water, plain water, no dye, right to my bath bomb mix and add the dyes later. But if the bath bomb is gonna be one color and the secondary color is gonna be very similar to that, then I just add this right away. Hopefully that made sense. Now I'm just gonna add this fully mixed and dispersed dye into my baking soda. I try to get as much of that dye out as possible, so I scoop out the baking soda and just try to clean out this little dish as best as I can. Now that that is in the mixer mixing, I'm gonna have that mixing for the entire time until they're ready to press. And I'm gonna add my dry ingredients, my cream of tartar, cowling clay, and SLSA.
And now that we've added all of our dry ingredients, we are now going to be adding our wet ingredients, which includes our Pollux Silver 80, our hemp seed oil, our alcohol, our fragrance oil, and shea butter. Now that I have my shea butter melted, I'm gonna be adding all my wet ingredients to the same, what do you call this? Beaker, glass beaker. And then I'm gonna pour everything all at once into my KitchenAid that is continuing to mix my dry ingredients. all of the wet ingredients the next thing to do is to add the citric acid and the reason why I added it at the very last because citric acid is the ingredient that causes everything to foam and activate and release all of its bubbly goodness so you definitely don't want to have the citric acid in there before you add the wet stuff because it will cause it to activate you don't want that Now we're going to be splitting this batch and coloring part of it red and pink so we get a pinky reddish hue and I'm going to be adding the bath bomb dyes to that half dry, not dispersed in more water. hot pink dye. The hot pink dye is quite vibrant so I don't add too much of it. Remember it's pretty much half the batch now that we're going to be coloring so you don't need a full scoop and adding a little bit of red to deepen that pink. Now we're going to put this to the KitchenAid and spray the dye with some water and also to moisten the bath bomb mix. going to try to press it and this is brand new for me remember guys so please be kind oh this is heavy gosh so first thing I'm gonna do is to I'm gonna add the bio glitters to the bottom of my mold so I'm using this teaspoon to grab some of it and I'm gonna sprinkle it lightly inside and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And I'm using Champagne uh, and Roses Bio Glitter from Fizz Fairy. So that's what it looks like inside. And now I'm gonna add my colors and I'm just gonna go half and half here. have about this much full and I'm gonna remove the top of it. I'm gonna try to go smooth, completely smooth on this one. So it looks like that. Then I take this piece, the top part, put it on top like this and we're gonna put it into our mold here. Our press, I mean. There you go. And I already have the other piece attached up here and let's see how this works. All right, so that pressed it. Not sure if I should turn this over or what. Go this way. Seems to be the best bet. And then I push the, that's what it looks like on top. Oh, cute. Wow. Now I'm gonna push it forward like this. And where, wait, hold on. I'm so confused, maybe. There you 
go this way. Oh, it's going out from the bottom. Ugh. Wow, okay, okay. And that's what that looks like up there. It's gonna... Wow, that turned out a lot better than I was thinking it would. And you can see how the bio glitter just stuck to the mix. And we'll see if it dries this great too. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Let's press some more and see how that turns out. So these are a success. I am very pleasantly surprised with how well they molded together and formed. I don't know yet how well they will dry. As we know with bath bombs, they can crack and just misbehave while drying. But so far, so good. And honestly, it just was such a great experience. I really like that mold. I really like how the biodegradable glitter transferred onto the bath bombs without any trouble whatsoever. It was pretty simple actually. And I can't wait to package these and show you guys the final product. These bath bombs are gonna come in a set of three and they will be New Year's themed slash Valentine's Day themed and these will be released as of January 1st. So, so exciting. Can't wait for you guys to see that. Really, really, really pleased with how this went. Could not have asked for a better outcome. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed using that heart shape mold and I highly recommend it for those considering making bath bombs using that heart shape mold from the bath bomb press. That's exactly where I got it from. It created the most beautiful heart shaped bath bombs and I cannot wait to show you the complete set that I make with it. If you enjoy this kind of video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. There's so much more coming in 2021. And for everyone who has already subscribed, thank you again, over 5,000, that is insane. You guys are amazing. And moving forward, now that Vlogmas has ended, each video is now gonna be more centered around one thing. I might throw a vlog here and there because it's always great to show the behind the scenes stuff and a vlog is a really great format for that kind of video but i definitely want the videos to return back to a more informative type of video where i explain my processes and i really think those types of videos are really beneficial to you guys until then keep growing and keep smiling and keep shining and i will see you in the next one have a good one guys